Downloading files from the internet to your iPhone or your iPad used to be a real pain, but here in iOS 15, the Safari Download Manager has changed all that. It's now made it really simple to download files from any website, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. So before iOS 13 and the Safari Download Manager, if you went to a website on your iPhone or iPad and tried to hit a download button, instead of actually downloading the file, you would get a page like this. It would open the file and play it back, but there's no way to actually save it in here. And this is still the case if you're using the Chrome browser. But here's the cool thing. The Safari browser has now been updated with a download manager. So if we do the exact same thing here, we're going to use freesound.org. It's just a very cool free sound downloading site here. And we're going to go and check out this particular sound file. If this time when we go to this page, we hit the download button, which is down here. Uh, look what happens. We get this pop-up so we can actually hit the download button and we can download it so any of your web pages anywhere you go where you can download from a desktop a pc or a mac you can now do the exact same thing on your ipad or your iphone just load up safari go to the page hit the download button now let's show you where it downloads to and what you can do with it so once we've hit the download button take a look up here at this little icon a little download icon if we tap on that one here is the downloads. Now these will download onto your files app in the downloads location. I'll show you where that is in a moment. And if we download more files, it will just queue them up here. Once you're happy that they've all completely downloaded, you can hit the clear button and that will go away completely. And then if we go to download another file, we'll just download the same file again. It'll do the same thing again. Pops up there, starts downloading. And then once it's completely downloaded, it will complete like so, and it is done. And then we can go away and check out these files, which is what we're going to show you right now. Now, if you've got an iPhone or an iPad running iOS 15 or really anything from iOS 13 upwards, you'll have this app installed, the Files app. If you don't have it, go over to your Apple App Store and check out Files. Just search Files. There's a link down in the description if you can't find it. Here's all the files that I've got in my download folder at the moment. So you can see I download the video files from my live streams. I download some GarageBand projects, some other audio files. And here's the two copies of those files that we've just grabbed here. Now, where does it actually place these? Well, if you go to files and you go to recent, they will be here as well. But if you want to know exactly where they go, they go in this downloads. It'll be in your favorites most likely, and it's going to be under downloads, but that's actually here in your iCloud drive. So in your locations, if you go iCloud drive, you'll have this folder here called downloads. If we click on that one or tap on that one, here's all of those files. Now we can move these around. So say I wanted to use these in GarageBand, I can use these, I can uh, hit the, uh, the more button here, and we can uh, copy those two items and we can go over to my on my iPad, go to GarageBand, put them in my file transfer folder here by tapping and holding and hitting paste. And then I can bring these into GarageBand. I've got videos showing how to use audio files in GarageBand and a whole bunch of other things down in the description. Jump down there and check them out. Now, another cool thing about the downloads folder, because it's here in your iCloud drive, it'll actually follow you around your devices. So it'll follow you to your Mac or your iPhone or your iPad because it's stored on your iCloud drive here. It should do download by default to your iCloud drive location. And it means that these same files will then be available on any of your iOS devices using that username. Now, if instead you're finding your downloads are going to your on my iPad or your on my iPhone location, you can change that. So what we need to do then is just go to our search. So here on the iPad, we just pull down, it's slightly different on different uh, devices and type in Safari. Just go to the search option, type Safari. And if we scroll on down, you'll see that we've got these settings here for Safari. Let's tap on the Safari settings. It'll bring you straight here. You can also go via your general options, but this is the easiest way to go there. And if you scroll down over here on the right hand side, see how we've got our downloads location. We can tap on that one. We can leave it here in our iCloud drive, our on my iPad, or you can even define another location. If you've got a specific place, you want to save them. I would just recommend leaving it on your iCloud drive under downloads. It's a convenient place. And then once you're done with those files, you can go ahead and jump back over to the files app and delete them, which is as simple as going to your downloads location here. We can hit the select button in the top right corner, tap on these files, and then down the bottom here are all your options. We're just going to hit delete. We don't need those anymore. And I could do these with some of these other ones. Now you'll notice also that some have these little download 
download icon. This is because I've actually downloaded them on my iPhone and they're not actually here on the iPad. So if I want to use these on my iPad, I first need to download them. And it's a simple matter of tapping on there and it's going to go and download those from my iCloud drive. So it won't automatically download the files when you're using my one device to the other, but they will be there and you just need to download them. And once you make any changes, it'll actually show a little upload icon to send it back to your iCloud drive and then it's available on all your different devices. And just to show you how it looks on the iPhone, it's exactly the same. So I'm here in my files app, I can go to my iCloud drive and my downloads and there are all of the same things that you saw there on the iPad. Anything I add will add into the iCloud drive and I can access it from either of my devices. And in fact, one of the cool applications I use this for is downloading the video files like the one you're watching right now from StreamYard, which I use to stream and record. So you can see there, there's the one that I'm recording right now. But if I go to past, I can actually download this last one that I did by just tapping there and hitting the download recording button here, hitting video download, that's going to process and then it's going to pop up that very standard download option there. So you can actually download from all sorts of different websites, video files, audio files, anything that you want to download, Safari Download Manager got you covered. And here on the iPhone, you'll see it's actually in the top left, the little download icon. If I tap on that one, it's actually under that menu. So I can tap on the top left, tap on downloads, and there you go. There is that same spot. Let's put it there in the download section. We'll hit done there. If we now jump back across to my files app, you can see that it's there. And see the little cloud icon next to that one? That means that it's uploading back to the cloud. Let's just jump back over to finish off on the iPad, and I'll show you that it's added it back to that location. So there you go, at the moment it's showing 0% downloaded. Why? Because it's still uploading on the iPhone. So what we'll do is we'll just wait for it to finish, it's nearly done, and then once it's finished uploading, we can download it over to the iPad. Okay, the iPhone has just told me it's finished uploading and look, just like magic, there it is, it's ready to go. Now all we need to do is tap on there and it will download here on my iPad. It's really handy if you're out on the go and you're downloading files to be able to get back to your iPad and then be able to download them to use them. And I use this to edit and we'll be using this to edit the very video that you're seeing there because it's a simple way for me to record and then to download and there you go, it's ready to go. We can now play back that video and uh, it's right here on our iPad. If you have any other questions about downloading or managing your files, I'll check out the links down in the description and leave a comment if there's anything we haven't covered. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.